Hi guys, uh, hope you're coping well with these strange times, these strange COVID isolation. Can't wait till it's all back to normal and to see you all again. But in the meantime, because we can't meet for group and meet in church, me, Daryl and Tara will be doing a series of little Bible study sermon kind of videos. So this is my first one today. Please bear with me. I feel quite nervous doing this because I've never really preached a little sermon before, even if it's the camera, uh, my phone, etc. And this study uh, sermon is about using God's resources. I've got seven points here and I'm going to go through them one at a time. And I think the first resource that we need to use of God's to keep spiritually fed and strong is read the Bible. I recommend that you read the Bible as quite regular. If you can't read it every day, maybe three times a week, you don't need to read like huge bits of it, just a couple of pages at a time is sufficient to keep you focused on God and uh, it will strengthen you. The second resource that I feel we should use is praying. I think it's important as Christians we pray every day. Some people pray first thing in the morning, like, and I recommend that if you've got a lot that you need to achieve during the day, pray about it all and ask for God's strength to help you achieve all the stuff that you need to do. Uh, but I think it's good if you pray quite a few times during the day. I personally, I pray at all different times but I mainly pray a lot at night before going to sleep. It's like I give God my day and uh, talk about anything that I'm anxious about or worried about, and it helps me feel peace before before I go to sleep at night. Uh, the third resource that you can use is YouTube, for example. There's a lot of worship videos uh, on YouTube, different kinds of Christian music, including house, reggae, drum and bass, uh, trance, classical music, whatever kind of music that you like, there's a Christian alternative to the worldly versions of it. So I think you should like, and there's also a lot of worship songs. I sometimes, when I wake up in the day, I start my day by listening to Christian worship music. And it's a bit like going to church. It starts your day really well. Number four, something I'll recommend is uh, listen to Christian radio, like Premier Christian Radio, UCB. They're really good stations to listen to. And as I said, they play a lot of different styles of Christian music. And also there's sermons on there and talk shows and things like that. There's a lot of different stuff on there. I'm sure you'll find something on those radio stations that would interest you. Number five, I recommend that you watch Christian TV as well. Uh, my favourite Christian channel, TV channel, is TBN, which is on uh, Channel 65 if you've got Freeview. I think it might also be on Sky and Cable. And on Sky and Cable, there's also the God Channel, uh, Revelation TV, etc. Some really good channels to listen to and, and to watch. Number six, I'd, I'd urge you and recommend that you read Christian books as well. Uh, there's some really fantastic books of people with powerful Christian testimonies. And uh, when you read good testimonies, it inspires your own faith and it gives you enjoyment and it helps you focus on God and know and see how powerful God is at changing people's lives. Uh, you, if you know the name of a book, you can usually find it on Amazon, but there's some internet bookshops as well, like Wesley Owen and Eden.com. Uh, the final thing I'll say is because I'm trying to keep this video fairly short is uh, I recommend that you try to give God at least an hour of your day, you know, and that some you might be able to do more than that. But I think it's good to give God at least an hour of your day. And that can be made up of a lot of different things, including all the things we said, like reading the Bible, praying, 
uh, listening to worship songs and music on YouTube, listen to Christian radio, watching Christian TV, reading Christian books, etc. And why I think it's so important that we do those things is because it will strengthen us, it will feed our faith, it will feed us spiritually, and it will make us a lot stronger. You know, we live in a beautiful, exciting world, but there's a lot of darkness in this world. There's a lot of heaviness. And I think we need to strengthen ourselves so that we're living in God's kingdom and seeing God's kingdom. That's all I'm going to say for now, guys. So as I promised to keep it fairly short, uh, as uh, just a reminder that every Monday, Daryl will be posting a video Every Wednesday, Tara will be, and I will be posting a video on Friday. I hope you're all well. hope you're all staying safe. And I really look forward to seeing you again in the future when we can all meet again. God bless you all. I love you all. Goodbye. Cheers.